we have some similarities in that we both, uh, well, not just coming from Massachusetts, but I think we have certain pers- similar personalities um, uh, in in terms of kinds of things that we find funny and oh yes, but uh, old timey speak. We love old timey speak. That was the big thing from the from the abbreviating the state joke is that I use the word ne'er do well, mm-hmm. and. I live in Harlem, and I never thought I would get recognized in Harlem because I'm one of the few white Jewish men who right. live up there. And a, and a man <laughs> saw me on the street last month, and this, I mean, that thing came out seven or eight years ago. Right. And the man saw me and he yelled, "Ne'er do well." <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that great, though? It was the greatest thing that ever. I don't get recognized very much in general, but when I do, oh man, does it feel good? It's probably irritating at, at your level, but at my level, it's still like a. Oh, a, I don't. A, it's very no, warm. I'm, oh, really? I'm not irritated. I, that's I, great. To, I like, that's great to hear. I like, uh, and and you say, oh, I'd be irritated by questions. I'm not. I, oh, okay. Just like, I, I like talking to people. Uh, almost, uh, and and Sona will is often with me when I'm out in the world, and and Blay is too. But often people will start chatting with me, and I'll keep chatting with them, and then they say, I have to go. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> I do. I'll go with you. We I can do, talk more about comedy. I do these meet and greets after the after the show, and sometimes I'll I'll connect with the people, and and it's like I have to go back to a hotel room and be by myself. Yes, it's I time. Would, yeah, it's like turning back into Bill Bixby after being the Incredible <laughs> Hulk. That, that feeling. You've talked about. It's, I can kind of relate to this. You have kind of an OCD about honesty. Oy. And and I I had this too growing up, which is there's a lot of um, uh, it was very important to my mom that we all be thought of well. Yeah. And uh, I love my mom, and she's just super. She's superhuman person who who did so much when we were growing up to keep this madness together, and uh, and I idolize her. At the same time, she ha- she always wanted uh, people when people came over, she would put on a little bit of a, well, yes, now come here. It should become, because you wanted everyone to think that, that you know, we're not low-class Irish. We are <laughs> we are lace curtain Irish. And it was a whole thing. But she would say things, and we would all notice, like, what happened to mom? <laughs> and it was important. And I remembered it was always very important to me, and I think it's one of the reasons I got into comedy. I always had to say, nope, that's not true. Oh, my gosh. That's not. Yes. And one of the things and my she, mother would give me the stare. When yeah, I yeah, yeah. I'll oh. get that too. Yeah. And she would, one of the things I remembered is we'd all be gathered around, you know, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and we have company over. Uh, or any time company was coming and we got to sit in the in the in the dining room and people are sitting around, she'd say, and now of course we always say grace. <laughs> and I'd say, we only do this when company's here. Oh no. And oh, she would say, so that's good. not true. Oh, that's so good. But I mean, I, I just couldn't not. I yeah. had to always say that's not true yeah that yeah the dishonesty part of it is is i grew up always feeling god was watching me all the time just because of the the i just took everything everybody told me seriously so that i would act up in the house i would stub my toe on on the corner of a of a counter and and my that doesn't make sense uh not a counter a, a cabinet and and my mother would say see god punished you oh and I was like, oh my gosh. Instead of thinking, gosh, what a prick, I, I, would, I would think, oh, I better not I act up. Think, I used to think, he's... doesn't God have other things yes. to do? Yes. Hey, Goldman just got out of line. Yeah. I'll give him the old stubberoo. Yeah. Hey, what about that? What about that tsunami that just wiped out 3,000 people in Indonesia? Oh, I was dealing with Goldman. <laughs> And then I, I went to Hebrew school. I don't know if you went to Catholic. I went to Hebrew school. Yeah. <laughs> I was immediately asked to leave. No, I went to Catholic instruction right. actually with Brian Kiley. Oh, that's so too. interesting. I, so I, I would go to Hebrew school and they would say, well, this is a sin, adultery and coveting, uh, being jealous and, and bearing false witness. And uh, are there any others? Uh, yeah, so leaving the finger paints out, is that, a, is that also a, a sin that God, <laughs> that God will smite you for? Um, but playing with clay without permission... 
that's that's another one I, that God punished me for. Uh, the, the, yeah, it, it was just a, the 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 things I was learning in Hebrew school were not matching up with the, with the little I had learned at home. Is there, am I correct that there's probably really not much difference between if you're a kid Hebrew instruction and if you're a kid Catholic instruction? Meaning they're both leaning on guilt, yes. beware, oh watch gosh. out, yes. someone's watching. Yes, because that was my experience, yeah. and then uh, the few times that. Well, actually, I grew up in Brookline. Um, more of my friends were Jewish than were Irish Catholic. Sure. And I would sense that, wait a minute, this is supposed to be a completely alien religion. Yeah. This is all sounding pretty familiar oh, yeah, to me. totally. Catholic and these people are really funny. Yes. So there's some. There's all this like transference. Yeah, and 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 also the presentation is very similar. The ornate, the rituals, the 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 just the the churches are gorgeous, and, and many of these synagogues, especially the older ones, are are so so impressive in terms of architecture and, mm -hmm. and the stained glass and everything like that. It's very very interesting. But I always I went to a Catholic college. I went to Boston College, and mm -hmm. I befriended some Jesuit priests and they would say, yeah, there's a lot of intersection in our, in our, um, in our liturgy, not so much the words as much as the, the ideas and the, and the, um, where the stresses are, which is on a, a, a very angry judgmental God. <laughs> <laughs> and that, but, but, but as a lot of uh -huh. fathers do when they have a son late in life, they mellow. And that and that and that's where I see Protestantism is it's sort of a, a mellow God, not as yeah. not as likely to smite they, after having Jesus. Yeah. yeah, the Protestants have a he's it's a God that's like wearing loafers <laughs> and dockers, and he's it's Pete Holmes. Yeah, it's Pete Holmes. <laughs> it's Pete Holmes is God, as opposed to like Bill Burr is the Catholic God. Where, I like I like figuring out religion just using stand-ups. Oh my gosh! Specifically, oh my gosh. specifically northeastern stand-ups. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I, I'm now I'm trying to figure out who would be the Jewish comedian God. It, it wouldn't it, it wouldn't be Crystal. It wouldn't be uh, no Robert, no too light. Lewis Black. I just got it. It's Lewis Black because he'd be it. saying things like, "Do I get this straight? <laughs> Let me understand something. You." The post office wants me to spend money on a stamp, and then I spend money on the stamp. You know, that kind of wow, thing. Wow, that's good. You the, know what I used to do? The Gamorans and the Sodomites are having blowjobs. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I used to do? I used to do a Lewis. I like Lewis Black, but I used to I do a, But I used to do a Lewis Black impression where he's getting, because his whole thing was getting worked up over something that's kind of small. And I used to do a Lewis Black impression about things where it's, where he's worked up about something you should be worked up about. So I'd be like, have you heard about this thing called kidnapping? <laughs> Someone takes a child. They take, they take a child who is the only son or daughter of these loving parents, and they take them away, and they say you'll only see them alive again if we get money. <laughs> and it would really make me laugh because I'd be like, uh huh, yeah. Uh, Just him getting so mad good. about stuff he should get mad about. This, uh, Kylie used to always tell me he would say, "You have no idea how funny the meetings are in in Conan's office." And and initially I was skeptical. I I thought um, you said Conan's not that funny. How uh, can no, you funny I said, yeah, everybody's gonna laugh at their boss, right? And and then I just started listening to the to the podcast. But also he would tell me the stories that. The bits you would do, which was one of my favorites, was the dirty Brian Kiley. The I Kiley, do, the, yeah. I would do Brian. It's called Brian Kiley at the Apollo. <laughs> <laughs> now Brian Kiley, again, as you know, yeah, tells really clean jokes, yes. Yes. and he wears the creased chinos, yeah. and a and a blue and schmaltzless puts no. Nothing on it. The jokes are just, I mean, I'm They're I just can't even, perfect. You could read them, they're beautiful, but perfect, also his character is perfect so jokes, mild mannered. But, but Kylie, and he'd stand up there and he's very Catholic and he tells <laughs> these wonderful jokes and he always is doing this with his hands. He doesn't move his body really at all when he's up on stage. Yeah. And so I started doing Kylie at the Apollo where he's up there and he's like, uh, hi everybody, uh, good to see you. I'm Brian Kylie. And uh, <laughs> well, uh, the other day I'm, uh, I'm going down on this, uh, Going down on this bitch, <laughs> and I'm uh, so I'm eating, I'm eating her out, and, I, uh, 
And then, and he's still the same mannerisms. And then I, uh, I work my way, you know, down to her, uh, to her asshole. You know? And I start, uh, start licking out her asshole. Oh, God. And then I'm like, bitch, you've got to wash your ass. And he's killing. Murdering. But then he goes backstage, kills, and he goes, well, that's my time. Thank you. And then he goes backstage, and I would always have him sit in a little iron chair and read a Truman biography quietly. Oh, yeah. yes. And then yes. someone would come and go, get out there again. They want more of you. And he'd be like, oh, okay. And he'd close it, and he'd go back out there, and he'd go, ah, the other day, I'm, uh, I'm whipping this guy with a like whatever it's just fun. Yeah. it's weird yeah. to hear you even talk like that i know yeah. i know so but the funny. thing is when i'm channeling oh, kylie God. so in meetings i would just do these bits that had nothing to do what was going to be nothing yeah the whole rule was none of this helps the show none of this can be on the show none of it can help the show we and i would do these long and especially in the post show meeting if a guest hadn't been good or if a bit hadn't worked I could do 40 minutes destroying up in, and up. it was really fun. I, yeah. I, that's the thing I missed. The yeah. thing I missed he, the most. He said there were, there were four or five shows the day of the show. I would do shows before yeah. the show. And then the show was like, oh, we got to go do that show, huh? The one that people see. <laughs> well, that's no fun. I want to do Kylie at the Apollo. <laughs> so You've got to wash your ass. <laughs> that's so perfect. And he's looking side that's to side. Perfect. And, and he's got, he's doing this with his, because you got to see Brian. Brian Kai is a great comic, but just the idea that he would do a, any joke like this is just, right? It's just insane. Yes. <laughs> it's just funnier because I know who Brian Kylie is, and I I hope people go and like look at his comedy online. Go so look at Brian Kylie. Yeah. How much of a, just how different it is what you're saying. I took a shit the other day. <laughs> and you know when you take a shit, and then at the same time, <laughs> You know, and then it's just like yeah. it gets like incredibly insane. I would, and 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 when I would channel this stuff, oh I would be saying stuff that I don't even think about, yeah. but suddenly it's coming out oh, because yeah, yeah, I'm doing yeah. Kylie at the Apollo, yeah. which no, gave me a, perfect. Oh, I love it. So much joy. Uh oh, Blay, what's the matter? I hate all of this. Why? I, I mean, it's I I love it, but imagining Kylie do it, it's it's just it's crazy because he is yeah. the most. I think he might be the most straight laced person I've ever met in my life yeah. uh, yes. and just now I have the mental image of him doing it. Also, yeah. you know what I always do? I would always add him driving home in a very small, sensible square car yeah. and just, you know, and then going home and pulling the blanket up to his chin yeah. to go to sleep. And then the phone rings. With a nightcap. With a nightcap. And, yeah. then the, and then the phone rings and it's the club going, they're screaming for you, they want more. <laughs> and so he gets out, puts on his blazer, gets back in his little car goes back there and then goes out and becomes this other person. Yeah, I picture him with a pipe carousel. Yeah, probably. With all the pipes. And, the, and the other thing is that I, uh, the, he's the person who reads the most long books, like Robert Caro, those LBJ well, books. Well, not that are, the person, oh. one of the people. Really? Yeah. He and I have that same oh, reflection. Oh, I didn't we realize just, that. I yeah. was gonna ask, that was one of the questions no, we both I was going to ask you. What is your... Are you a big reader? Yeah, I, okay. well, I read a ton of history, and uh, and Kylie was the oh, same thing. But we were perfect. always both like <laughs> Kylie and I are just very similar in that we're these two I see. Irish Catholic guys from Boston. Who, if you see a picture of us on a beach yeah. where everyone else is in a thong and playing pickleball, we're the ones reading books that weigh about eighty pounds, yes. and they have a swastika on the cover because <laughs> it's about. <laughs> The rise and the rise and fall of the the rise and fall of the Third Reich. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. Annotated. Yeah. Annotated. Yeah. And we're like picking out things that are wrong. Oh wow! About you just the book. went up in my book. Of, oh, there you go. Of people who read books. Okay. Well, good. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'd like to think. Did I you like that Robert Caro documentary? Have you seen that? that I'm one? in it. Oh yes. You fucker. I'm sorry. I you got I got it. confused because you were also in the. Uh, you thought that was Larry, Dennis. You thought the, that was Dennis Leary going on and on about Caro. <laughs> the Larry, uh, the, the Gary Shandling documentary. Oh, yeah. These days, everyone's in every do documentary. Yeah, and yeah. I, I, yeah, I'm in documentaries I shouldn't be in about like sex no, trafficking really... in Sweden. <laughs> and they just and Conan oh, O'Brien went. You should be in that one. Well. I was cleared. 